Changing your modem's password is something that everybody should be doing for the simple fact that it further protects your home network. In this episode from Network From Home, I'll be breaking down the steps you need to follow to change your modem's password, and I'll also be talking about the situations where changing your modem's password will further protect your network. Before I begin, there are a few important things that we should go over. The first is that this procedure is applicable if your modem and your router are separate devices in your home network. If your modem and router are combined into the same device, the steps you need to follow will be slightly different. They'll be more similar to a video that I previously posted about how to access your router settings. So I'll link to that one up above. I would recommend you check that one out if your modem and router are combined into the same device. If your modem and router are separate devices in your home network, there's another important thing you need to consider. And that is the fact that changing your router's password is much more important than changing your modem's password. So if you haven't changed your router's password yet, you need to go to that previous link that I posted up above and change your router's password first. As you'll see later in this episode, there's a lot more damage that can be done if your router gets hacked than if your modem gets hacked. Okay, in order to change your modem settings, there are just two things that need to be in place. The first is that you need to have a device that has access to an internet browser. That can be a phone, a laptop, a tablet, anything that has an internet browser like Chrome, Firefox, Safari, you name it. Any of those internet browsers will do. The second thing that needs to be in place is that this device with an internet browser needs to be on the same network of the modem that you want to make changes to. With those things in place, let's dive right into it. The first step before we access our modem settings, we actually need to collect a little bit of information from the modem itself. We need to collect both the location where we can access our modem settings and then the default credentials to log into our modem settings for the first time. So I have my modem here. There's an informational sticker on the bottom of it. Let's take a closer look at that sticker so we can grab the information we need. Okay, and looking at the sticker on my modem, the information that we need is actually all in the same area over here. The first, as you can see, it says default access. That's the location where we can access and change my modem settings. As you can see, it's HTTP dash dash 192.168.100.1. What that is basically saying is the IP address for my modem is 192.168.100.1. The other thing we need to take note of is the username and password. These are the default credentials that will allow me to log into my modem settings once we get to the settings page. As you can see here, it's pretty generic. The username is admin, the password is password. So let's take this information and log into my modem settings. Okay, we have all the information we need from my modem. Now let's open up an internet browser so we can access my modem settings. All right, we have our browser window open. Any browser will do here. And all we need to do is we need to enter that default access location in the search bar. So here we go, HTTP 192.168.100.1. And here we go, this takes us to our login page. Because we haven't previously changed my modem's password, we can log in with the default credentials of admin and password. So we'll type in admin, and my password is not actually password, but let's pretend it is for now. And here we go, we've accessed my modem settings. From here, the steps are pretty easy to change the password. We just need to go to the advanced tab, then from here, you go over to administration, and then you select set password. All right, on this page, it's pretty straightforward. Just enter the old password, which in my case is password, and then enter twice the new password that you want to use that's unique to you. And of course, don't forget to select apply here after you've entered your new password in. Another important thing to note here is that depending upon the make and model of your modem, these steps might be slightly different 
the interface might look slightly different, but once you get into your modem settings, it should be pretty easy to figure out what you need to do to change your modem settings password. From there, you should be all set. You can hit log out, and then I would recommend logging back into your modem again with your new credentials, just to make sure it worked correctly. Congratulations, you successfully changed your modem's password. Now I wanna talk about the things that this action protects you from. First and foremost, you saw the default credentials on the bottom of your modem. The username was admin, the password was password. Not very secure, is it? Well, that's exactly the point. If people know the make and model of your modem, they can actually go online and look up the default credentials to access your modem settings. Of course, nobody wants that. So basically what would need to happen is a malicious user would need to get access to your home network. They would need to connect to your home Wi-Fi or connect directly to your router. And then they could access your modem settings with those default credentials. The good news here is that in getting access to your modem, there's not a ton that a hacker or malicious user can do if you have a standalone modem and router in your home network. What I mean by that is that really all you can do through your modem settings, you can factory reset it, you can reboot it, or potentially if your modem has bugs in it, they could install their own malicious firmware onto the device. Again, when you compare the risks of your modem getting hacked to the risks of your router getting hacked, it's not really comparable. There's a lot more damage that can be done if your router was hacked. So that's why I said at the beginning of this video, it's much more important to change your router's password first. Even though your router getting hacked poses a lot more risk to your environment than your modem getting hacked, it's still good practice to change your modem's password anyway. The last thing you want is to give people unauthorized access to your modem in order to reboot it or mess with it. The bottom line is, you don't want anyone messing with your home network devices, and that's why setting your modem's password is important. If you have any questions about this information, please drop a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like so it gets shared with others who'll benefit from this information as well. If you like my videos in general, please subscribe to the channel. There'll be plenty more content coming down the line here that you'll find just as useful as this video. And lastly, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home. We'll catch you on the next one.